I know I'm in a hoodie. <laughs> uh, I've been up since about six this morning. It was about 50 to, in the fifties this morning. It was really, really cold, uh, which I'm not complaining. I'd rather deal with the cold than the heat. Uh, it's about 70 degrees now, so I will be coming out this hoodie at some point. But right now, I am on my way to a battery shop, a different one. Uh, as you recall in my last video, I did visit a battery shop. Uh, they only had one AGM deep cycle battery for this RV. But he recommended me to go to another battery place. It's called Batteries Plus. He said it's a good shop. They have a lot of batteries, very knowledgeable people. So we're headed over there now uh, to talk batteries about this coach. Hopefully I can get something done before I leave Michigan. And the goal to leave Michigan is end of August, first week of September. I think I have a route in mind. I think I know what I'm gonna do. But right now, like I said, it's still up in the air. I'm still tweaking it. Those are 31 AGM? Yeah, these are the 31 AGMs. Okay. You also do have the 27, but you said 29. They said 29 one. through 31. Okay, so these would be your best bet right here. Okay. We also have the X2 Power Series ones. Okay. Those are more dual purpose though. So what starting, do you mean? Uh, starting and running things. Okay. So this is just deep cycle right here. So that would be your best bet though. So what do you mean by it? Because the, the batteries in my coach, it runs the refrigerator, the lights, uh, the control panel, I guess that stays on all the time. Okay, so it sounds like you just need a deep cycle and that's it. Okay. Dual purpose one means that you can put it in for starting also for starting your engine. I already have, yeah, I have one yeah. for the engine. All right, before I go, let me explain the battery. I asked all of the questions. I uh, asked if it was lead acid, um, it was AGM, deep cycle marine RV batteries. Uh, I asked how many, um, let me get my book. Your girl is taking notes. I asked uh, how many amp hours. Um, so what we got, let me show you guys really quick, give you a quick little look at it. We have the Duracell Ultra Marine and RV Deep Cycle Non-Spill Spillable Batteries. We have two of them. They are 12 volt, 110 amp hours with a reserve capacity of 210. Um, my RV has two, um, my RV has two uh, battery lead acid batteries so I bought two there is a 30 month uh, a 30 month warranty and total out the door tax included and uh, a charge and they charge me $24 until I get the old recycled batteries recycled but out the door total $659.98 I paid $300 per battery and I asked him all the questions. He said, this is probably one of the best on the market. He says, this is as high as amp hours you're gonna get. He said, some batteries claim that you can get higher, but not really. He said, this is good. As long as you keep it charged to 12 volts or more, you're good. 
So, like the um, Thor customer service rep guy told me, uh, he said that as much as I travel and drive and use it, be prepared to kind of get new batteries every year. But I'm super excited and I've already made an appointment with General RV here in the next couple days to get these bad boys installed. I'm so happy. So we'll see how they work out. I went to Kroger and picked up some food for the next couple days and I will be trying out my new Yeti cooler. I'm super stoked. Uh, the only negative I have about this and I think pretty much negative that a lot of people have about it is that it's kind of difficult to open. I mean, it's not the smoothest, but other than that, it's okay. So we're gonna test it out. This job is messy. So we're gonna put this bag at the bottom. We're gonna do another bag for the top once I put the stuff in there. Wasted about uh, three ice cubes. Oh, that's enough. Hold up. Okay. So what we're gonna do, put this for the bottom. Okay. And then this, we'll do it like this. Okay, for the top. So now let's let that chill in there for a minute. Ooh, it is hard. It is hard. I mean, good Lord. And it says 100% leak proof. Okay, so now we got the Yeti kind of Cooler cooling inside. Take that off. Put that aside for a minute. And tonight I'm going to be making chicken uh, chalupas. So now we're going to meal prep the chicken. First, honestly, hold up. That's the chicken. That's the beef. We're gonna throw that beef in the cooler. I'm gonna take it out the package because I'm gonna be cooking all this stuff up within the next several days or so. And then we're gonna take the sticker off of this, cause this is for the 31st of August. And then put it on here. That way I know. And then we're going to I don't know, can y'all see? Take the ice pack out. We're gonna put the beef in. We already have an ice pack in there. My Yeti ice pack isn't quite frozen yet. So we're gonna throw that in there, throw this on top. Oh, can we please close this?
Okay. Throw it on top. Also, we have cheese. And we have yogurt, Chobani yogurt. This is all for tonight, so. We might have to figure out a way to get this chicken in here. But for now, all this other stuff fits. Oh, that's, oh, there's that. Now we're gonna meal prep the chicken. Throw all this stuff away. Okay, now we're gonna meal prep this beautiful chicken here. Put it in a Ziploc bag. Got a lot going on. Um, this is organic, uh, organic, Vegetarian fed diet, free range, no retained water, uh, no antibiotic chicken. That's why it looks so clean, so smooth, no, no fats, no nothing. So we're just going to cut this up, cube it. I'm gonna add some Taco Bell, 40% less sodium taco seasoning. We're just gonna And that's all we're adding. We're gonna let that sim we're gonna add a little bit of water. Little bit of water. There we go. Now, oh, we're going to put it in here. Hopefully it fits. Everything's nice and compacted. And it fits. Everything fits. We have ground beef, ground up chicken, a package of cheese, two things of Greek yogurt. And that's it. And two big bags of ice. So let's see how well this thing holds up. So the chicken and stuff I put in this cooler has been in here for about, I don't know, uh, probably more than six hours, close to seven hours. And I'm about to cook the chicken, but we're gonna see what this ice is looking like. What I should have done per the instructions was pre-chill this, um, Yeti cooler for at least 24 hours. They said sacrifice a bag of ice, fill it up with ice and let it sit for 24 hours and then it'll be good to go. You basically activate it, but I didn't do that. Y'all saw me, I opened it today, put the ice in it today. Um, that's not bad. I mean, still got some ice in it, yeah, it's just melted, but for the most part, it's not bad. For it being in there and the heat and in here for a, probably seven hours or probably a little more than seven hours. Um, chicken is ice cold 
it's just wet. Um, let's check out the other ice bag pack that we put in here. Yeah, everything's cold. I mean, there it is. It's it's okay. We'll we'll fix it tomorrow. Um, we'll get another bag of ice. It's gonna cost me a couple bags, but it'll be worth it. Let's make sure this is closed. Let's shut this up. And it, uh, I think everything will be good for until tomorrow. I bought these at Walmart. They're Chalupa soft and ready. So we'll see how they taste. This is what I'm going to be using today. Here's the finished results. Uh, my version of the Taco Bell chicken chalupa. Sorry for the noise. That is my awning making that noise. Um, they ordered a kit to fix it. Hopefully it'll be in soon so we can uh, get the awning fixed. That noise right there. So grilled chicken breast, um, Greek yogurt, and the place of sour cream and then shredded cheese. First bite goes to you. Oh, and then Taco Bell mild sauce. First bite goes to you, have that bite right there. My turn. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good. This is really good. You can get these chalupa shells. I got them at Walmart. First time I've ever seen it. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah, that noise has been going on all day for the last... I'd say like almost five hours. And that's the first time that noise has gone on that long. Usually it'll go on, it'll stop, but it has not stopped. Florida lied. They're like, oh, we fixed the recall. We fixed your awning. No, you didn't. You didn't do anything to it. If your taco ain't messy, then it ain't a taco. Mm. The ice is holding up pretty good. Um, it's still enough in there to get me through the night. Uh, in the morning, I'll get up and uh, get a, another small bag and replace it. Hopefully by tomorrow, the Yeti cooler ice pack, the Yeti 
ice pack should be frozen and I'll use that in, with the ice, which would help it greatly. But for being in there over seven, over seven, eight hours, probably even longer than that, I think it's, it's okay. I think it's holding up pretty good. Dang it. I just got my glasses adjusted, but the lady said with plastic and the heat, it's going to expand. So I'm going to have to put the ear pieces on uh, for tomorrow going forward. They are starting to slide a bit. That noise is so irritating. <laughs> Man. I definitely have more chicken in mind. I guess I don't remember the last time I went to Taco Bell. Maybe before the pandemic. I'm not a big fan of Taco Bell. And when I did go, I always got a Chalupa. And a Doritos Locos. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I am super excited about getting those AGM Deke Cycled uh, Marine RV batteries. Um, in a couple days, they'll be installed. And I literally cannot wait. Hopefully, uh, going forward, things will be a lot simpler, a lot easier for me. Uh, having a fridge i'm still going to utilize that yeti a cooler after i get the situation with my battery uh remedied i still will be using that for like drinks and things like that so that will not go to waste for sure it'll definitely come in handy on long trips and long drives uh for cold drinks water things like that but i'm gonna go ahead and finish my dinner relax chill for the rest of the night clean up a bit but i do appreciate you guys you guys are freaking amazing but i'm out thanks for watching and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.